God, I love this loading screen. Just look at it. It's the best thing. Well, we're back here in the forest. We have a forest shadow to murder horribly. But first, why don't we uh, kick a rock? Yes. So here's Tempest. You shoot wind out of your hands. It's pretty neat. The strong attack is the tornado that you shoot. It sets up for a harmonic combo. Let's just uh, do it. Yeah. The area attack for Tempest is also pretty neat. But I don't know if I'm going to get to show it in this fight. These spirits aren't great people to show that off with. Let's just get some chi back here. Hey, Chaika, don't die, okay? And what did I just say? God. It looks like I have to do all the work with my kicks. Let's do some more Tempest. Yeah. Well, how did that... Uh, you gotta work on your aim a little bit there. Dr. Evil. Here's the area attack. It totally does cool stuff. Just take my word for it, okay? This place is still glitching out. Oh well. Where's the bottom of the widescreen bar? There should be another... <laughs> oh, that happens. Well... Let's go have a chat with the innkeeper, shall we? It's not completely different from what we saw before, but there's a couple things here and there. I watched in awe as you dispatched those things. Not many of your kind can deal with ghosts as easily as you did. That was a term of respect. Your strength of both body and will are obvious. They surround you like an aura. You are of a kind, aren't you? Clearly deserving of respect and consideration. But I forgot myself. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, Traveler. I am the Keeper, as they call me. Uh, tell me, did you happen to come across one of us on your way up here? We sent him not long ago to search for help. It was the forest, Shadow. She's taken another from us. We hoped we had found a way to deal with the fox, but we were wrong. Well, that is quite a thing to ask, isn't it? Quite a thing indeed. How are we to know we could trust you? No, I do not entirely trust you with such plans. You must know fox spirits can assume the forms of... humans. How can I trust you not to be one of her servants, or the spirit herself? For now, simply accept what little hospitality we can offer. These are hard times, but we would not dare treat a guest poorly. I wish you all the best. Travel safely and return here soon. We would welcome you for our evening meal. Well. When well. will more come? I see no need to speak to you. You are not. The forest is closed. None will come except from Tien's Landing, and that path is closing. That's awfully rude. Someone cut him off. You are too big. With her trees. I'm not doing that. That's just happening. For I some see. Reason. There is still food in the undercaves. We will be fine. <laughs> oh, the game is just interrupting itself now. Leave me to my food, unless you want some of it. <laughs> I like how they're. I see no need to speak to you. You are nothing. I like how they're giving Tiger Shen shit. The guy like towers over them. It's hilarious. Oh, we can still talk to who? But we're not going to actually find out these guys are cannibals from him. Oh. Oh no, Wildflower turned into a barrel. Uh, 
Oh, oh no, she didn't. Yeah. Still gonna kick all their shit, because these guys are assholes. Yeah, I'm breaking your vases. That's right. That's right. That, that, that's happening. And you guys can't do anything about it. Oh. Okay, you. Hello. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, where the patron is the most important part of our business. I am Ho, your humble cook. I'm also in charge of the few supplies the inn actually stocks, if you have need of them. Though I am weary and work to the bone, I'm here to help you. What can I do for you today? I don't really go in for celestial politics, but I will say that it's awfully odd that the inn folk seem to hate her so. To hear them talk, she's practically insane with bloodlust. But everything here seems perfectly normal, wouldn't you say? Ah, well, if she attacked you, then she must be mad as a mountain farmer. Unless there was some mistaken identity, of course. The Keeper has more than enough to say for both of us about the Forest Shadow. Go ask him if you have more questions. If only it were that easy. To go, that is. That's more like it. Now you're more in line with the spirit around here. Take very good care. Are you trying to snake my catchphrase? I will end you, ho. How? Who? Whatever. You must join us for dinner. You would be a most welcome addition. No, no, it's nothing for you to trouble yourself about. The fox is our problem, and we will deal with her as best we can. You should stay and be comfortable. And I tell you that the only cure is to destroy the fox. But I do not believe you are committed to that course of action. As loath as I am to see you go before dinner, perhaps you could find more answers at her temple instead of worrying about us. It is a matter of caution. We mean no disrespect to you, but we must be careful. The fox is crafty, and it is likely she will try to stop us. If you're so ardent to learn more, perhaps you should go to her temple just down the hill to the west. It is not a safe place for us, or you for that matter, but you may learn something. Of course. It is, as I said, nothing for you to trouble yourself about. I wish you all the best. Travel safely and return here soon. We would welcome you for our evening meal. That got me nowhere. Well, at least we know we need to head down to the temple. So let's go and do that. Now, not a whole lot of things are different here. Like, Black Whirlwind will still be killing guys and whatnot. <laughs> And we still have to fight him when we get here, too. So I'm just gonna skip past both of those things and jump into the cutscene where we actually get to talk to him. You're no ghost. Hell, you're barely human. No one has ever withstood the axes of the Black Whirlwind before. Where? Oh, you mean me? That's water under the bridge through the lake and out to the ocean. Anyway, I'm guessing you must be here on Lord Yun's business. Can't imagine why anyone would come here otherwise. You'll want to talk to Spear Catch's Leaf. He's Lord Yun's man. I'm just the hired mercenary. I am so very sorry. You must accept my apologies. He is uncontrollable sometimes. Keep your apologies. That was amazing. Spear Catch's Leaf isn't a warrior. He doesn't understand the thrill of victory. You've just had the unexpected honor of defeating the Black Whirlwind, the self-styled deadliest mercenary in the Jade Empire. Y 
Yes, I'm Spear Catches Leaf, Lord Yun's lead hunter. I learned a ritual from Lord Yun's father, and I had hoped to use it to ask the aid of the Forest Shadow. I've set the fires and the furnaces are ready, but one of the key crystals is missing. Without it, we can't even see what these furnaces are supposed to do. I examined the area when I realized that the crystal was gone, and I stumbled across some strange tracks that lead in the direction of the inn. I don't know. They look like bare human feet, but the tracks were closely spaced and bore a strange gait, as if a child made them. A deformed child. It sounds like they were being cautious. Perhaps if you go ask them more specifically about the crystal, they'll realize that we're just here to help. All signs point to the inn, and even if they didn't mention this missing crystal before, they will have to explain themselves if you confront them about it directly. Make your way there. I will stay behind to tend the furnaces. If you need more information, supplies, or even training, you know where to find me. I have a. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all his stuff is the same too. Ah, storm dragon. Well, I'm totally buying that. And I'll buy. Uh, no, yes, buy it. And we're gonna buy all these too, because why not? So, people at the insult the crystal. Just like they did last time, but we found out about it a little differently. Well, he's right. If we directly confront them about that, they'll have to pony up the information. So, why don't we just not sell anything, because I don't really see anything worth a whole lot. And let's head back to the inn and take care of that. Just skip all that unnecessary running, though. See you in a bit. Hey, look, we're here. Let's have a word with this guy again. You must join. Yeah, 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 you're creepy, yeah. A crystal? Ah, uh, you know about it, do you? I suppose there's no point in keeping it from you any longer. We hope to keep it a secret, but it seems we will be tracked down no matter what we try. Yes, we have the missing crystal from the temple. We have kept it here safe and away from the hunter. Because we could not trust anyone else to have it. One of us here in the inn overheard the hunter and the big man, who are now at the Forest Shadow's temple. The hunter spoke of a ritual that would let him reach the Forest Shadow. But he's a fool! He thinks to find the fox and seek out her help. Her help! She will not help anyone, least of all us at the inn. To save the hunter from his own folly, we took the crystal before he could reach the temple. Threats? You should be careful of who you threaten. Whatever the ritual does, if it reaches the forest shadow, then we must take the opportunity to destroy her once and for all. He would not have taken that chance. I must know that you will use it for the right reasons. You must kill the forest shadow. Do so, and I will give you a half year's worth of taxes in silver. You could, though you would not find the silver. I'm not fool enough to keep it out in the open when I run such a fine establishment. If you wish the crystal, you must agree to help us. You must kill the fox. The silver is merely an incentive. You will aid us. You must. I have faith that you possess the skills to eliminate this cursed fox. The crystal is yours, but remember our deal. You should go to the temple to the west. 
Find a way to reach the fox and destroy her however you can. Succeed, and the silver will be yours. Now go. Did you guys catch that ah at the beginning of that? That's great. Oh, that's oh, that's the oh, that's that is perfectly creepy. I love that. Anyways, back here. This little bit with Spearhead's Leaf is the same, so let's just skip past that. Because there is some new stuff to say here. We talked to Flying Whirlwind. Black Whirlwind. Hey, I'm Whirlwind. not some cheap bottle of wine to be passed around. Damn it! Even wine shouldn't be passed, in my opinion. Lord Yun paid you very well to safeguard his men, and now you're being paid to safeguard his new agent. Surely you don't mean to go back on your word. My word isn't worth a damn thing. That said, I'm still reeling from actually losing to anyone short of an army. Ha 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 ha! That's a good one, and probably true. All I know is that traveling with you seems a damn sight more interesting than rotting in this forest. Let me level with you. I don't lose fights, and I damn well didn't expect to lose one in this forest. Then you come along and beat me handily. Nah. So long as I'm fighting and drinking, preferably at the same time, <laughs> I think I can let that part where you'd pay me slide. My only rules are don't touch my axes, don't touch my wine, and don't get between me and my enemies. If you can live with that, we'll get along just fine. Well, you, me, and the kid, I hope she's well trained. You smell funny. Haha! <laughs> You'll get used to it, kid. It kind of grows on you after a while. Ew. Be safe. The spirit's willing, I will reach Lord Yun's camp quickly. If you need more supplies or training, that is where I will be. Let's go find something and make it stay a lot worse. Right. If I'm lucky, something will try to jump me on the way there. Though I bet you've ruined the fun by clearing a path for me already. Maybe I'll take the long way. We're not going to use him, though. Yeah. There is a reason for using Shaika here. And since that entire section is the same, let's just jump right to when we actually meet for a shadow. Because we are going to be leaving this conversation a little differently. Even though the conversation is very long. Yeah. You should ready yourself, mistress. I do not trust them. I knew it! We cannot trust this human! Even with the Heavenly Gate Guardian here, I do not know that we can afford trust. Narawa ir kwa nuk noka o kiyi o kir ifuir wo. I am not the only one, Guardian. You have much to contend with, it seems. The Guardian doesn't have anything else to say. You should talk to the Fox and not worry about us. We're fine.
cannot bleed forever. Nothing is without end. Not even this world. Not when my power rests in the hands of mortals. Names are fleeting. Given so your kind can point and say, that is mine. All words, names, history, dreams, they die on your lips. What remains after that is beyond you, or is meant to be. Not everything can be owned, not without price. You will pay a debt earned by another. I lack the strength to help you. You cannot avoid your fate. When someone steps beyond their station, others must fall to fill the gap. I hear, but I am too weak to lend aid. Others push above their station, but you are where you should be, though you are poisoned by selective knowledge. If you fail in your destiny, your true enemy falls with you. And if he falls, so do we all. You must win, but in doing so, you will lose. It is a painful circle that must be allowed to close. You do not truly have a choice until you confront what comes after. You will be free to act, but there is a cost. Oh, 
Akan bautizi sihir koni ogni kaun nono kaun. Koni yukuan yu yu ni awe ye. Ukira ni yirin puno son sinu kaun kaun. Ukir na bjerni wo, wo no ba jer, u sun po no son kud no ka wo na we jer. Kane wo ako, wo tam fro uzak si rahok, wo ka ho frak tik nik no hirake wo. I knew it. You should have crushed him when he first arrived, and was at least winded from facing the demons. Ni wo na bjer wa jer ako su vjer toki, wo kje shun ta jer ni wo, i ta njera wo. You will not make it that far. I will see to it. All right, so we now get to fight Shining Tusk and three Fox Spirits. This fight's kind of a pain, unless you bring Chai Ka in support mode. Then it's not. Because the one problem with this fight is that you really want to hit Shining Tusk with Chi Strike. But he hits really hard, and it's kind of, well... Not hard to avoid him, but it's... Just, oh god, camera. But sometimes it is kind of a pain, and you just can't avoid it sometimes, so... Having your health regenerate, or having your Chi regenerate for this fight is very useful. But first things first, take out the Fox Spirits. Now, we haven't really had to fight these before. Fox Spirits have one kind of bad thing. Their regular attacks aren't that bad, but they have their, uh, their, well, their guard break. Kind of shoots them forward a bit when they do it, so. We've probably already seen it, I just didn't mention it, but we'll probably see it here. Let's use focus mode for once, right? That white demon is really good here. I don't really use White Demon. I either use Legendary Strike or Thousand Cuts. So White Demon's doing pretty good for this playthrough, I gotta say. And, alright, now, main event time. Shining Tusk. As like I said, for like the most damage, you definitely want to use Chi Strike. Weapon style is pretty good, too, and that, that, yeah. Let's just stay clear of him. If we can get behind him, it'll take him a long time to turn around to face us, so that's definitely the way we want to go. It's kind of not completely easy to do sometimes, though, because his hitbox is really... Well, his, his attacks cover quite a lot of distance and area around him, so... Getting behind him sometimes can be kind of a challenge. But you can't block his attacks, at least. This is hurting a lot. Let's try free target. Maybe it'll be useful. Yeah. That's not that's not helping. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna poke you with this thing. Okay. Let's just let's just There we go. There we go. And now we've got him pretty good here. Like, that's what you want to do for this. Pretty much, that's it. That was... that was... bad. Ah, good. Camera. Okay. There we go. Hey, quit, quit doing that. I'm poking you in the butt here. There we go. That's what I do. Uh, why does the ore have to come out of his crotch? Uh... Oh, I think I missed this when we were playing the other playthrough. What a shame. Oh, we didn't get to read that amazing information. Hey, what's in here? Nothing awesome. Uh, well, let's go. So the Force Shadow did say she was going to the lowest island, so... We have to head back to the beginning of this entire heaven area. But, of course, we get to fight some more Fox Spirits first. To do this... 
Try to move out of the way. Hey, Storm Dragon. This doesn't work, right? No. Oh man, I haven't really gotten used Storm Dragon yet on this character. Oh, she almost did that little uh, attack. Oh, whatever. There we go. Let's keep going. Point is that there's two different types of fox spirits. There's the, well, the normal looking ones and then the white ones. I'm sure they have real names for those kinds of foxes, but I couldn't care less. I'm not sure there's a difference, like if one has more health or does more damage. Uh, but whatever. They die kind of quick, so hey. Hey, down in front. You want to get fireballs in the face? Alright. You can accommodate that. Now there's the attack. It kind of shoots them forward, and it's well. The thing about that attack is that it's not, well, it's not hard to get out of the way, but sometimes you'll think you're out of the way, but you're just not quite. I hit her again. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's great. Alright, let's just deal with this. There we go. And there's not a whole lot left to this. We'll finally be able to challenge the Forest Shadow herself in a minute. Or two, or, or five, or I don't know how long. <laughs> Just stop him in midair for that save, okay. Nope. These fox spirits attacks are kinda weird, like they're they're kicks. They seem to have some accuracy issues with those sometimes. Uh oh. I like how when enemies heal, they only heal, like, a really tiny little chunk of their health. Like, not even any real chunk, like a little sliver. Hey, come over here, hey, come over here. Let's just finish this thing. Hey, don't kick me in the balls, what's wrong with you? Oh, I see how it's gonna be. There, I kick you in the tits, how you like that one? Ah, you're totally stunlocked, haha. -ha. Oh well, look who it is. Oh, 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 in here, Sakir. Er sun si yir so yir yuru ani o so yira, oh, ya wir. And here we go, foreshadow. She, unfortunately, fights just like the regular fox spirit, so... Oh well. She's wearing a shirt. That's different, right? So the foreshadow isn't really that hard. I, I actually think it's kind of funny how the foreshadow thinks that fighting her is the easier path when the mother fight is so piss easy. And the Shining Tusk fight kind of isn't sometimes. Where did you... The spirit! She's dead! And you are returned to us by the heavens themselves. We are free of the curse of the forest shadow, all of us. This is a time for celebration! You have done us a great service, and soon we will feast to celebrate.
She did deserve her death. And you? You deserve so much more. I offer you a most unique chance. Look and see the glory you have set free. See us as we truly are! Gaze upon our forms and bask in our glory. You should be honored to see the true strength of the cannibals. I sense in you a kindred spirit. You know power for what it is. A tool to sweep aside those weaker than you. Because of your nature, I wanted to work with you in the open. We are the powerful ones in this forest, and our majesty must spread. We are sensitive to strength, and you are not like the meat out there. You speak with power and conviction. We can respect such strength. Intriguing, yes? Such power is hard to resist, is it not? You must understand that we are servants of a powerful demon known as the Mother, who has taught us to draw strength from human flesh. The forest shadow imprisoned her millennia ago, but you have freed her. Our mother will rise up and consume all who stand in her way. The ghosts rage and hunger for release, and such things are rich sustenance to the mother. As her strength grew, the trees changed to reflect her glory, as did we. The mother has not seen fit to tell me of her imprisonment yet. In time, she will reveal all, and I will learn of her clever plan. It must have been clever indeed, for she allowed herself to be captured and bode her time until we, her perfect children, could hear her truth. Bite your tongue, thin blood. You have done us a favor, but if you taunt us, you will just go into the pot like the others. You have our gratitude, but not our trust. Take your silver and go, thin blood, and we will part in peace. Your kind is concerned with nothing more than silver and prizes. You are pathetic and weak-willed. Fine, human. You will have more than we agreed upon. We gathered the silver while you were off killing the forest shadow. You make a wise decision, Thin Blood. Our people will prosper now that you have freed us from the fox. Take this scroll and study it when you have the chance. As a final gift, we give you this... cook. He's useless to us. He shivers like a leaf in winter. Remove him before his weakness infects us. <laughs> that is why we like you. You are practically one of us. But for all that, your blood is still thin and watery. It is said that this one knows a secret, a style rarely seen in the Jade Empire. If nothing else, you may be able to extract it from him. Now go, leave us to our plans. Thanks to your deal with the Keeper, I'm allowed to go free in your custody or company, as you see fit. The name is Henpecked Ho. Master Bunmaker and long-suffering husband at your service. You may have sided with them, but at least you're human. It's a relief to be away from their hungry stares. I'm just glad to be alive, and I have you to thank for that. 
Those beasts wouldn't have let me go otherwise. But you'd be surprised what tricks an old bunmaster might know. Have you ever heard of drunken master style? I was a master, top of my game and well known in Phoenix Gate, one of the great cities in the prosperous East. My skills earned me fame, fortune, and a wife. Teaching is all I can do. As I said, fame, fortune, and a wife. I discovered fairly early on that she had opinions, most of them regarding alcohol and my regular consumption of it. I can still teach you, though. She has never expressly forbidden that. I have a few bottles on me right now if you'd like to learn. No, no. I think you will be most impressed with what I have to teach you. Pay attention. I don't like repeating myself. Oh, Dragon Master. I don't like Dragon Master that much. So as the foreshadow said, going back a bit, we actually could kill the mother. There's no reason that we couldn't do that. Yeah, but why, you know, hey. Why kill the mother too, right? Why leave this forest with a chance of recovery when I can completely screw it up? That seems more like fun, right? Uh, just die already, guy. There. There, you got it. Now, let's get out of here before the cannibals change their mind or get hungry again. I now see the flaw in teaching you the style. Yeah, whatever, ho. So, we got ourselves a new technique: mother's touch. Uh, it's, you know, it's okay, I guess. Whatever. Do you have occasional cravings for meat, eh? Hmm. I'm sure that's fine. Also, we got a new gem, the gem of earth power. This is actually pretty good. Plus five to body. I just actually beat uh, Inquisitor Lim. He was still there. Because uh, the forest was the last place for this playthrough, too. And, oh my, Intimidation is 40. <laughs> That's perfect, actually. Oh, right. So now all that's left here is to go and tell uh, Lord Yun about how we totally killed the Forest Shadow. He should be still waiting for us down below, so why don't we just jog on down there and uh, chat him up for a little bit. get that wind map. I wondered how long it would be before you made your way down here. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but the air has changed considerably. My family has always been tied to the forest shadow in some strange way, and I can tell she's dead. It's a shame, but looking at these trees, I can see why it had to be done. I'm just glad you were there to handle things. Dealing with a maddened fox might have been beyond my skill. Here is the wind map you wanted. The copy is near perfect, and I assure you that the assassins will never know you have it. Allow me to answer that, Lord. While it seems that you solved the problem with the forest, that doesn't mean the ghosts will simply up and leave. If we're lucky, then you stop things from getting worse, and time will provide the cure. Indeed, it is. You have my deepest gratitude. I had virtually given up hope, and you appeared like a gift from the heavens. One thing I have been meaning to ask you, though. What of the Pilgrim's Rest? Spear Catches Leaf mentioned that you went there to retrieve the crystal. How do they fare in that place? They're all right, then. I wouldn't have expected that after being isolated here for so long. We may very well do that, and soon. Yes, we should take them supplies and food, and see if there's anything else we can do to help them. Farewell. That map will carry you safely if you can find a flyer with the range. I wish you all the best of luck. Oh, he's probably going to get eaten by cannibals. I knew this would have a happy ending.
Uh, I leveled up twice, wow. You don't need to see that. So that takes care of that. I'm not sure why it said we had a mission and don't have a mi I still haven't talked to <laughs> I still haven't talked to Hui. Oh god. Uh, I'll I'll do that eventually. <laughs> uh. Well, that's that. Now we can finally do like chapter 3 or whatever. Jesus. Well, let's get going. Well, it seems you have everything you need to get your flying machine airborne again. I guess there's no reason to stay around here. Why don't we go back to the camp at Tien's Landing and use that dragonfly to head on to the Imperial City? What? How, how do you know that we have a dragonfly? You've been in the party for, like, literally ten minutes. How do you know any of this? Now, where are you going? Where are you going? I got my eye on you. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Who? I'm gonna be watching you, little man. <laughs>